Hello, uh, my name's Kath Drescher and um, I have had the honour of being the head of Adopt Southwest um, for the last five years. Uh, Adopt Southwest went live as a regional adoption agency on the 1st of October 2018 and I came into post at that time and have very proudly led the service since then. It's now time for me to move on um, and I wanted to talk to you today about um, the people that I've worked with, what's been important to me and what I've learned. I've worked in children's social care for over 40 years now and uh, in and around adoption for about 30 years. Um, and I've always found adoption to be endlessly fascinating. It takes us back to the very core of who we are, uh, of what it means to be in a family, of what it means to belong. Um, and I'm always interested to understand how does it shape who we are? What's about adoption and what's about me? What's uh, about family? Um, what, what's about work? What's about learning? How does it all marry together um, to help uh, adopted people become who they are? Um, and over the years, it's not just me that's done learning and learning about adoption. It's, it's adoption services across the country, across the world, um, have been learning too. And, and adoption looks completely transformed to how it did 30 years ago. We've opened up so much in terms of uh, the people that we want to raise our children um, and we are more and more interested in people from all walks of life. Um, if people can offer a child a loving home then we want to talk to them um, and that's been wonderful. Um, I always say to staff um, that uh, they should talk to adopted adults because adopted adults will tell us everything that we need to know about running an adoption service. And one of the themes that comes up really strongly is about keeping in touch with birth family and wanting to understand their story. Um, and we've put so much work into that over the years and our understanding of how we need to do that has really been developing. And I'm so proud that so many of our adopters get it. They understand that our children come with a history and that part of their role as parents to that child is, is to support them in, in knowing their story and to knowing their birth family. So when Adopt Southwest went live in October 2018, we were the 11th regional adoption agency in England to go live. And there's now 34 of us. We brought four local authority adoption services together from, from um, four different local authorities. We also brought with us four different IT systems, four different processes and policies and procedures and everything that came with that. Everybody came with mixed feelings about their working environment changing and becoming part of a regional adoption agency and everybody came through believing that their practice was the best practice and we had some excellent practice. If I'm honest, when we went live it was chaos, but it was our chaos. Um, what we had throughout is uh, great staff with a strong vision and clear values and they wanted the best for our children and have carried on wanting the best for them and that's been fantastic to have that all the way through. Our brief as a regional adoption agency was and still is um, to recruit a good enough pool of robustly prepared adopters ready to raise our children. That's ready to raise our siblings together, ready to raise our older children and ready to raise our children with disabilities. We've also been asked to create a system where we can promptly match children to their families at the earliest possible stage and to offer a good high quality adoption support service. We wanted adopters who could feel that they could turn to us when they were struggling and that we would be able to offer them help. And we're doing that. Well, you can have all of the processes and all of the policies and all of the plans and all the systems in the world. You can have it all neatly laid out in beautifully coloured charts, but at the end of the day, they're meaningless unless you have the people behind them. Um, any organisation is made by its people. It is its people. 
and we've brought together a great team of people with a clear vision of to how they want to work together to improve opportunities for our children who can't grow up in their birth families. Whilst we all want children to grow up in their birth families, when they can't, we know that adoption can be brilliant. There's so much to be proud of in Adopt South West. We changed so much uh, over the last five years, particularly through COVID. I remember COVID and I remember lockdown keenly, really. Um, just how it felt at the very beginning of lockdown in March 2020. And we had to turn everything around. We had to make everything virtual from a service that was relationship based, that was based on people meeting with people. We had to change everything to screen upon screen upon screen and the staff and our adopters and foster carers and uh, colleagues in local authorities, everybody stepped up to the mark and we were able to carry on placing children, supporting them through the transitions and supporting adopters through that very, very, very strong period in all of our lives. Um, I'm proud of so much of what the teams have achieved for our children. The fact that we've placed so many children over the years and given them a good start in new homes is just wonderful. Um, our working relationships with our colleagues in the local authorities as well. Um, our colleagues have faced all sorts of other challenges separately to the challenges that we've faced, but we've all worked really hard at working together to give best outcomes to children. Our colleagues in health and in education as well, who all want to achieve the same things for our children. Um, we can't do our work alone, we have to work together to get it right. We now have well-run panels and experienced chairs who feel well supported by Adopt Southwest. We've got a dedicated quality assurance team to help us understand what we're doing well and what we need to work on. And we listen to those we run the service for and are able to use their voices to help us improve how we support them. I'm really proud of that. We're able to place more and more of our children with families that we've robustly prepared ourselves and more and more families are asking us for support for their families and our teams are committed to getting them the right support. So I wanted to share um, a time in some children's lives with you that I heard about recently. And I was told of a young woman um, we've worked with for a while um, who cared for her younger siblings when their mother was no longer able to. Um, she worked really, really hard to care for them and really wanted to raise them. But ultimately, her younger siblings were adopted. Um, I'm really proud that they were all adopted together in the same family. Um, things went well for them. Uh, ultimately, the, the sister reached out and said she wanted to see her younger siblings. We worked with the adopters and with the children and with the sister. And not so long ago, they all met up. Um, and I was lucky enough to have the pictures shared with me. Um, I don't get to be involved directly in this sort of situation, but I love hearing about it. Um, they all look so alike. Um, and I came away just feeling so pleased that they were all able to reconnect. Um, the adopters are keen for them all to meet together again uh, and are happy to do that without our involvement. Um, they are quite confident that they wouldn't need us to be involved. Um, and their senses, their message was, is there's lots of room in their children's lives to have lots of people in it. And that for me is everything. To have our children growing up with their brothers and sisters, with adopters who were able to raise them safely and well, and to acknowledge the relationships that they have with their wider family as well. That to me is everything. So it's time for me to move on from Adopt Southwest and I'll be leaving the service at the end of September. Um, and I'll be handing over to the wonderful Amanda White and I'm really proud to do that. It makes leaving much easier to know that I'm handing over to somebody as skilled and experienced as Amanda. Um, I was asked uh, what I would miss about the work and about Adopt Southwest and um, it's really hard to put all of that into words. Um, I know I will miss watching the sense of accomplishment staff feel when they get things right for a family. I'll know I'll miss the support I've received from everyone, the warmth, energy and commitment from everybody inside and outside the service. 
and of course most of all hearing about the children and what's been happening for them i'll miss that enormously so i'm moving on to look for new challenges but wherever i go i know i'll take with me all the wisdom and experience that i've had shared with me over the years so thank you all for that how do i feel about leaving I've been so touched by all the well wishes that I've received over the past few weeks. I really have. And now it's my turn to say thank you. Um, whether I've seen eye to eye with people or rarely agreed with them at all, my conversations with our teams, our local authorities, our birth parents, our adopters, and of course, our children and young people are what have kept me honest, kept me inspired and kept me going. And every day I've learnt. I know our work is far from flawless, but we've all shown the capacity to change and make life better. I know our progress has been uneven. Working in this field has always been hard and it always will be hard and it's always been contentious and it always will be. For every two steps forward, it can feel like we're taking one step back. But the long sweep of our work has been defined by forward motion, a relentless widening of our understanding of who we are and what we want to achieve. A big, big thanks to everybody involved in that. To our finance teams, our procurement teams, to HR, the support that we've had from our legal teams, the support that we've had from our senior management teams, the huge support that we've had from our PR and comms team. And of course, to all of our children and their families, a massive, massive big thank you. I'm really honoured to have been part of something that has made a difference to so many children and I'm really proud to be able to hand over now to Amanda. I know that Amanda wants to continue to build on the progress that we've made together and I'm really looking forward to seeing the progress you all make. All the very best.